Obviously the crown jewel of the class. I think without question the best player in, uh, in America. Not really sure how debatable it is that this kid really impacts the game in so many different ways. You know, the thing that, that I've always been most impressed with was just his maturity level. You know, when I met him when he was 14, I think, he, he didn't talk like a 14 year old. You know, he had a, a presence about himself. And then when you watch him play, you can just see how competitive and unselfish he is. And I think that's why people are drawn to him and what he can become ultimately uh, as a college player, but certainly well, well beyond that into his pro career. This may be the most underrated, underappreciated part of his game. I think people know that he can score pretty much when he wants. He doesn't probably look to score as much as um, he's capable of. He passes unbelievably well. I think people acknowledge that, but his ability to rebound defensively at 6'7", which eliminates us an extra pass from the break. Uh, he becomes you know, immediately in attack mode, and then it just translates to the next level. So he has no problem commanding the floor, and being a guy who puts his teammates vocally in positions that they're supposed to be in. Well, the one thing that jumped out at me with him is the way he controls the pace of a game, whether it's rebounding and pushing it on the run or getting guys in the spots and then making plays after those guys are in those spots. He's got really, really good pace. Probably the most impressive thing watching uh, them play in Greece was his defensive IQ, the way, he, the way he saw the game, the way he communicated on the court defensively. Obviously, you know what he can do offensively. His package is, is really strong, but his defensive communication, the way he saw the floor is, is really, really impressive for, for an 18-year-old kid. His adjustments, you know, in the, at the college level, there's going to be very few times where he's going to be in one-on-one -on -one situations without at least two other sets of eyes hovering. And how does he be? How does he make himself more efficient with space? You know, he's not going to have a situation where he's on the side ball screen and the next closest low side defender is outside the paint on the other side of the floor. So he's going to have to navigate this defender, probably find a teammate or find a creative way to get to the same type of finish. And I can't wait to develop his post game. Obviously with guys like him and Ice, primary ball handlers who can both play pretty much on any part of the floor, uh, gives you a chance to have a lot of versatility in your offense. I think even going back to, to defense too, the versatility between Ice and K, those are, those are guys that can guard all over the floor and play offensively all over the floor. So great value on both ends, which obviously starts with defense here. Yeah, and then you add a guy like Avery in there, who's proven that he can be a, a very disruptive defender. Different than they are, right? Smaller, probably a little quick, more quick twitch, but can pick up the ball and, and harass it. So I, I love our backcourt defensively. I think we, we, we definitely have a chance to be a, a pretty solid defensive team starting in the backcourt.